Hi. Hi. You. So it's good to be here with you. Um, so right now I am sharing what's called a, a feelings wheel because sometimes it's uh, it's interesting, but when you're when you're asked the question, how are you feeling about this? We were pretty pretty quick to come up with these here in the center, right? Can everybody see uh, the folks that can't see my screen? Um, mm -hmm. Could you name yourselves? Who are the folks? Oh, this is Dory Ramstow. Hi, Dory. Okay. So Hi, Dory, Kathy what Salter. Was, and Kathy Salter. Okay, thank you, Dory and Kathy, because I want to make sure I'm speaking to you as well. Um, mm -hmm. So what I'm showing on the screen right now is uh, just a wheel, right? A wheel that has emotions on it. Um, and in the very center are, are um, the more basic emotions, um, joyful, powerful, peaceful, sad, mad, scared. Um, and then from the center of that circle, it goes out into some more specific uh, and more, um, maybe not specific, but extensions of those. So for example, um, if you're feeling um, scared, for example, or um, it, it shows some optional, some additional words like helpless or anxious or overwhelmed or um, inadequate or discouraged. So it, it breaks, it breaks um, this, these feelings out into some, some spokes per se of, of um, more specific words. But I'd like to open the conversation um, at this point to have us think about um, the, the beginning where Pastor Russell talked about, um, you know, how are, what is the craziness, kind of naming, naming that craziness um, that's going on. And the assumption there at the beginning, you know, we were talking about what's the craziness, but also um, the assumption that it's making you feel anxious or upset. Um, and that could be very well true. And in fact, I think it's, uh, it's affecting a lot of us that way. But looking at this um, feelings wheel, and with regard to the conversation around discipleship, how are you feeling called or challenged to follow Jesus in the midst of this craziness? Okay, and so there are a lot of words up here on the screen that will maybe help prompt um, and since I came into the game late, I'm going to just keep us all in one group rather than break out groups, Pastor, if that's okay with you. Uh, and looking at this list, let me ask that question again. How are you feeling? Can you find some words on this list, those of you who are able to see it, um, or on this graphic? that help you to describe how you're feeling called or challenged to follow Jesus in the midst of this world's craziness. So I'm going to pause for just a second. And for the, the ladies that are on the phone, if you can maybe jot down several words. And um, the folks that can see the graphic, if you'll jot down, a, uh, why don't you jot down at least three, if you can find three or more. I'm just going to give you a minute. And we'll be talking about, you know, questions similar to, to what we've, we've begun here. And we're going to use a resource called Growing Up a Lifelong Journey. And when I say we, it's those of us who will be teaching. There's a team of us who will be taking turns. Um, but, um, and this, this resource really focuses us on three primary questions. First is, who is God? Um, so in whom do we hope? In, in the midst of the craziness. Uh, who am I? What is my identity? And then three, what does God desire to do through me? Which we, you could say, what is my purpose? So in whom do we hope? What's my identity? And what's my purpose right now? What does God want to do through me? Um, and uh, and we'll, we'll obviously be living through this. We'll be in the context of the crazy world. We're going to go through an election together in this class. We're going to go through all sorts of things in the next couple of weeks. So um, we'll be having those conversations in that context. Who is God? Who am I? And what, is, what, what does God desire to do through me? Um, and I'm going to try to uh, keep us, at least on my part of it, um, focused on um, 
that concept of being people of the way. Followers who are to embody the transformative love of Christ in, in concrete actions um, and in the way that we live and what we do um, and in the midst of the, and responding to, to the world around us. Let us, let us pray. Come to us, O God, in the midst of the craziness of this world. Calm our fears and quiet our anxieties with the assurance of your presence and the hope you give. Give us a firm faith that allows us to trust in you in uncertain times. Open our minds and hearts to understand and respond to the many needs and issues all around us. And fill us with your love that it might become active in lives of purposeful engagement. Work in and through us, we pray, that we might be among those who follow you in your way, now and forever. Amen. Amen.